what we have here. Your Gibbs, I'm playing Spirit of Revenge, Curse Castle. I have the Collector's Edition, which means we're gonna have a bonus chapter at the end of the game. Now, this is viewer's choice. I actually posted a poll on Twitter and Facebook. And by the way, if you're not already following me, you should check that out. The links are down in the video description. But anyways, the folks there that contributed to the poll chose this game next. So that's what we're doing. We're doing a viewer's choice. We're not going to waste any more time. We're going to get right into this game. We're gonna play fire. <laughs> or the options fire. Wow, that's kind of cool. Lots of fire. Anyways, we're going to play. So we've got casual, advanced, and hard. If we know where we're going to land there. I don't like the looks of this, Inspector. It's our duty to check on the Flatsbury family. Come on. Lord Flatsbury, you all right, my lord? If you don't answer, we'll have to break down your door. Inspector, come quickly. Wait. What's that noise? Flatsbury. I'm sure you know it. I'm so glad you are nearby. The inspector's in the van. Alright, well clearly we're in England somewhere because of the whole, well, the bobby here and the accents and the car having the steering wheel on the right side. The only one left in the castle was this little girl. Try to talk to her. A little girl in the castle. Would I like an interactive tutorial? Well, it's been a little while since I've played a Vendel game, so I'm gonna go ahead. Well, Vendel games. Game. You know what I mean. Go ahead and get into the tutorial here. The important information will be kept in your journal. Ooh. Good journal stuff here. While traveling in the English countryside, I got word of a new case. Two members of a long-respected and noble family have disappeared. When police investigated neighbors' reports about the castle, they couldn't locate the owner. Local legends hint at a family curse, but that's preposterous. One member of the family isn't missing, the youngest Flutsbury, a terrified girl named Jessie. Jessie, the terrified girl. That's going to be her thing. All right. So that's the record. We got memos, which we have none of. And tasks. Talk to Jessie. Let's see. An arrow means that you can move to another location. Oh, she must be in the police van here. I was relieved to know you were in England, Miss Gale. Me too? This is Jessie Flatsbury, the Lord's youngest child. She's our only witness. She's chilled to the bone, but all we have to offer her is hot water. That would hurt her. Don't offer her hot water. Well, unless it's in a cup of tea. You wouldn't happen to have some cocoa in your car, would you, Miss Gale? That might break the ice, so to speak. And here, it's our report on Castle Flatsbury. <laughs> I randomly have cocoa in my car? Okay, cool. I can live with that. A hand means you can interact with an object. Pick up the object. Ooh, this must be our map. I thought he was giving me money. No, it's the actual report here. We were called to the castle to investigate a neighbor's reports of fire and strange noises. Usually quite active, and no one has seen any sight of the Flutsburys in some time. Background on the castle, built in the 17th century. Historic record includes references to other strange vanishings. Huh. Interesting. So I don't need a hint quite yet. Looks like that's a magnifying glass. Sure, sure. The gear means that we can use certain items. 
Hot water is a good start, but I need to find a cocoa left over from my lunch. Aw. Some cocoa might warm her up and soothe her. Now I want cocoa pebbles for some reason. I, I don't know why. So what's this over here? Perhaps you can look in your car. Okay, okay. Fine, I'll look in my car for some cocoa. I am digging the car here, actually. It's a really nice looking car. Ooh, sparkles. I think we all know what to do with sparkles. You can interact with an object in the hidden object scenes when you see the hand. Push the hat. Now we can drag that back in there. And we have an ink stain. Okay. Woo. We gotta put some stuff back there, apparently. Where's my other sticky note? Why is my lighter not lighting? <laughs> So what else do I need? Do I put this back here? Yes, I do. I see everything's connected. Okay, I can live with that. Well, I'm not sure about everything, but it certainly seems like a lot of stuff. There's our battery. Let's put in our camera. Ooh. Red, green, blue, yellow. But I don't have the pieces yet. How do I get them out of here? One of the photos is missing. Whoa! I meant to give this music box to my niece. But it's broken. Aw. A bunny rabbit. I want that. Alright, so now we have all three symbols. Oh, I love how it's showing it over here on the main background there. It's cool. Oh, it even updates when I swish it. Wow, that is so cool. And we have cocoa. 100% quality cocoa. Mmm, I could go for some cocoa. I normally have tea or coffee, but you know what? A cocoa would go in my cup just fine. Actually, I'll just my little drink of my coffee right now. Hmm. I could go for some cocoa now. Hmm. Alright, let's get the cocoa. Ooh, a little chocolate in there. I better... I don't want Jesse to spill it. Okay, we've got the lid on it. We now have a mug of steaming hot cocoa. I'm Brenda. And you're Jesse, right? Here, this should warm you up. Can you tell me what happened? I lost my mom's locket. Can you find it for me? It's my favorite thing in the world. What are you going to offer me? Oh, a cool drawing. We have a new task. We're counting on you to get the girl to tell us what she knows. She's the only witness. Won't you look for her locket? It's all she has left to remember her late mother. Search the cast. Okay, all right. Search the castle. Let's see what we have here. While I approach all cases with a healthy application of skepticism, I also keep an open mind, and this place unsettles me. I soothe Jessie with a mug of cocoa, and she confided that she lost her deceased mother's locket. Clearly, she needs it to feel safe. Well, let's go to the castle then. Take a look at this. The backstory on the Flatsburys might help your case. According to this, the family had a bizarre accident the very day they moved in here. A hound appeared from out of nowhere and forced the Lord's car off the road. And there's more. Local legends say many family members have vanished before through the generations. Okay, that is definitely creepy. Be careful, ma'am. It could be dangerous in there. Here's a flashlight. You'll need it. Does it have fresh batteries? Uh, it looks like it does. That's good to know. I'm not sure what to make of the article. Coincidence or dire 
Omen. 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 Oh, hello there. Are you real or are you smoke? I've noticed lately a lot of games have smoke monsters in them, so that's why I'm asking the question. Yikes! If I didn't know better... If I didn't know better what? I think I just met the same brute of a dog that forced the family's car off the road. And was that fire I saw in the castle window? The mystery is ramping up, isn't it? During the game, you'll find picture pieces that will be stored in your gallery. Once you find all the pieces to a painting, you can restore it. Well, that's kind of neat. I'll take that storeroom key. Now we'll go find out what's in the storeroom. Really? <sighs> storeroom key doesn't work? Oh, shoot. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Very sinister looking creatures here. This one's got a mouthful and a divot on its head. I bet there's something behind there, but I'll have to find that sun figure to open it. Let's see what this is all about. In the gallery, you can assemble pictures to restore the main canvas. That will help you gain access to bonus play. Hmm. Interesting. So what, <laughs> what if I stumbled across here? Since the day I lost my daughter, this gallery is the only place where I can still find peace. Someday I shall find strength to finish the main canvases. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of like it, actually. some kind of pattern here, but I can't see it well. I need light. Hmm, I better find out what sequence opens the door. Okay, just randomly pick that. I'm not sure why there's a zero here. I find that interesting. Okay, let's go to the backyard. Hello. Things are not always as they seem. So who was that? Okay, so I have access to a map now. Ooh, cool rose. I have seen a ghost. Call it a swamp gas or blame it on the fog. But I know what I saw. A ghostly woman and she spoke to me. Oh, this is a good way to replay the cutscenes. Oh, I love when they put that into the journals like that. That's such a nice touch. Oh, it's something into the bush here. Or leaves. Colored tile, okay. <gasps> the poor birdie! I don't have any to save you. There's something behind these roses, I'll need to trim them back. Oh, maybe this is the key. It's a sparkle! Yay! Ooh. Old school, which is perfectly fine with me. I got no issues whatsoever, having a little bit of a variety in my life. Snip snip on that beautiful flower. Now, black cat. Put that cat up there. Nice coffee cup. Nice water in there. Mmm. Speaking of coffee cup, I'll just take a little slurp here. Mmm. When you record for hours and hours at a time, your throat tends to take a little bit of a beating. Did you just see that? I just saw that. Look, he's looking all innocent now. What the heck was that about? Why does it say zero now? 
I mean, the zero disappeared is what I was trying to say. Uh, okay. Glass lampshade. Okay, there's definitely something creepy going on in here. And those matches just self-combust? Like, what's up with that? No, oh, I'm feeling a little intimidated, I, I have to admit. Okay, so we've got pliers. I should help us with the bird here. There you go, little birdie. What have you left for us? A treat. Stone. A piece of wire. Uh, oh, I could have used those clippers on those roses, couldn't I? No? Let's have a look at our map. We haven't looked at that lately. Or at all, actually. Giant map. I like it. Unsolved task. Oh, so those have a little bit of <laughs> action going on, do they? That's great. Ah, hold and drag the wire up. Tip to lift the tumblers. Not sure I know what I'm doing here. that so that is there and that goes to two up and as soon as it's one up okay that's even this must be one up yeah I am totally a locksmith Okay, I just saw a little flame dude walk by the window. What was that? I don't like it. <laughs> hey, a puzzle piece. And a tin knight. Gonna make myself a tin soldier. And a puppet arm. Like a painter's canvas, this empty field is transformed. Here rises my greatest masterpiece, Castle Flutsbury. In just a few days, the final stone will be set, but success is hollow without Lady Agnes by my side. Lady Agnes, her eyes are the most wonderful thing I've ever seen in my life. Alas, even my thoughts betray me. Isaac, the Master Mason. So, the Master Mason was in love with the Lady Agnes. He would not have been nobility. No, he would not. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Something's going on there. I found an old note in the gardener's house. I'm surprised it survived the centuries. It appears to be written by the genius who built the castle, Flatsbury. He writes bitterly about pain parting with Lady Agnes. Perhaps this is the nature of her spirit's discontent. So Lady Agnes is the spirit we've encountered. Oh, okay. Look at that. A few tiles missing. Yeah, I only have one. I haven't seen any, like, collectibles or anything. Am I supposed to be finding collectibles? Or maybe it was that puzzle piece or something? I'm not sure. Okay, let's go ahead and take care of this then. Am I putting things back? Ouch! Thorns! Ah... Uh, okay... Number three... And coffee beans. Okay, so this is gonna help me with the code. Coffee beans can go in there. Mushrooms can go there. Rare glove. Now we can put the rose back in there. 
so we have a cup. Put that there. Ooh, neat. Lampshade. Goes there. Keys. I need to find all the numbers. Bottle of wine. Mm. Slurp, slurp. Oh, it broke. A sprayer. I don't know what a sprayer is supposed to be for. Or a handkerchief. Uh... Oh, I see. Then we can wipe it off. Okay, cool. That works for me. So, it looks like we're going to go six... Six... Five... We have four numbers we need. I don't know if it's going to be... Six, five, one, three. Oh, I see. Wait, what did it say? Six, five, eight, three. Ah. A three is what we need. And what do we have here? Flatsbury deaths. Agnes fell to her death. Catherine took her own life. Francis, the castle's first owner, he and his three wives all died under mysterious circumstances. Robert lost in the swamps. He was reported as being chased by a hound. Mary died in the fire. Eugene fell into his death. Laura vanished after her husband, Eugene's death. Stuart drowned. Elizabeth succumbed to fever. Good grief, everybody's dying left and right. This place is definitely cursed. And we're out of time, but we'll be back for more Spirit of Revenge Cursed Castle. Thank you all for watching.